Hello everyone, thanks so much for checking out today's Canva tutorial video. Today's video request is entitled How to Add Social Media Link in Canva in PNG. If it's okay for you not to have your social link uh, clickable, then PNG would be okay. But if you want it to be clickable, then saving it in PDF standard file format would be the best option. But for whatever reason you need to have it in PNG, then this is how you can do it. But take note, it's not going to be clickable. <laughs> anyway, let's get right on to it. So the first thing we need to do is to go to the custom size button and put your desired dimensions over here and choose your desired unit and click on create new design. Or you can go to the search bar and type in whatever type of document uh, you're trying to create. Say, for example, it could be a Facebook post, an Instagram post or whatever it is. So just type it here. In our case, we're going to try Instagram post this time, or maybe just Facebook post, since we've always tried Instagram. So let's try Facebook post. And from the drop down, we can select um, Facebook post. And we're going to be taken to the templates page. We're just going to choose a random template over here. Say, for example, this one, and click on customize this template. Let's wait for the Canva editor to load up. Okay, so here we are. Um, uh, in case you'd like to change your um, template, you can always do that by going to the side panel over here. You can find the uh, templates under the design category. Okay, so I'm just gonna go straight to the point. We're gonna worry about the designing part later on. Um, since you're going to be saving it as a PNG, then you're not going to be needing, you're not going to need to add or hyperlink, add a hyperlink to your text. So just select a text or add a text box where you'd like to input your link. And then you can just simply do this. You can just simply go to your account, copy your link from there and paste it over here. Or you can type in instagram.com slash abc123 say for example that's just your url and you can go to the element section type in instagram icon go to graphics and choose an icon from here in my case i'm going to choose this one and put it right over here it's so tricky so i'm just going to zoom in to be able to uh, position it much better and let's change its color to something that would match our text. And there you have it. So if you just um, want to save it as a PNG, then you're going to go to the share button above, click on download. Um, PNG would be your file type. It's going to be uh, set to PNG by default. And if you're a pro user, you can also adjust these download settings over here. And once everything's all set, you can go ahead and click on download. But in case um, you'd like to hyperlink it and save it as a PDF instead, then you can click on that um, text, go to this three dot button and click on link. Or you can just simply press control plus K on your keyboard. Insert your link over here, copy and paste it here. In my case, I'm just going to put Instagram.com. I'm not going to be putting my personal link to this. I'm going to hit enter. And if you want to see if it's going to work, then go to share and preview it first by clicking on view only link. Copy that link and open it in another tab. Paste your link over here and load it up. And let's see, once we click on it, if it takes us to Instagram, then it means our link is working. And it is working. So here it is. So that means our hyperlink has been successfully added. And in order to save it, go to the share button, click on download. And for your file type, make sure to select um, PDF standard. You don't have to touch these other download settings here. I think they're okay. So just go ahead and click on download and your PNG will be ready. And there you go. Uh, of course, you're going to have to modify your template. So that's what we're going to do now. 
I just went ahead and went straight to the point. But now let's take care of the design. So I'm just going to delete the photo and go to uploads and see if I can find my very own photos over here that I'd like to use. I don't think so. So just to have something to work on, I'm just going to choose some pictures from Canva. Well, most of Canva's um, pictures are pro, and I don't really like to use their pro elements, so instead I'm going to go to the apps button, and I'm going to look for Pexels. Because here on Pexels, you'll be able to use a lot of photos that are not pro. Or in other words, free. Perhaps I'm going to use this one instead. And I'm going to flip it horizontally, right click and set image as background. I think it's lovely. So I'm going to move this over here. So I'm going to put the uh, link over here. I'm just going to remove the um, hyperlink. So I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to change our font to something else. I do like this one better, so I'm going to do it like that. And I'm going to zoom in to be able to control this better. And I'm going to select them and make sure that they're properly spaced. I'm just going to duplicate this one and say, for example, we're going to input another link here. Go to Elements again and look for... Facebook icon. And let's add one more. We're going to put that here. And look for a LinkedIn icon. Hopefully they have one. I think they do. But they only have this one. But I do have an idea. I'm going to press C on my keyboard and I'm going to change its color to the same color as our um, text. So I'm just going to click on the three dot, but three dot button and click on copy style. No, it's not working. So basically, I'm just going to go to the color here. I'm going to copy the hex code, control plus C to copy, and paste the hex code over here. Ooh, okay. Paste it. Okay. And now I'd like to resize it to the same size as our previous icons. I'm going to make sure it's proper, properly aligned. And I'm going to change this color to that color. And place this forward to front. No worries, we're going to take care of the um, other later. So I'm just going to press C on my keyboard once again to add another circle. But this time, I'm going to change its color to white. I'm going to zoom in. Get smaller. Put it here. And send it backward. Okay, I need to fix it. Perhaps we can change the shape to a, right, uh, a square. And let's go to position again. Select our white square and do something like that. Okay.
All right, perfect. And now we're going to add some sort of a logo over here to make it look pretty. So I'm going to, but I think our text is too large, so maybe I could adjust it. Copy style. Copy style. Much better. I am going to align it to the left. Same for these. And I'm just going to group them all together so that when I move them, all of them will be moved. Let's see. Okay, I think it looks better now. And I'm just going to go to upload logo, uploads, I mean, because I think I've designed a logo here. So perhaps we're just going to use this one. Okay, I think that should be fine. And we're going to take care of the other elements here. I'm just going to remove the elements that I don't need. And I'm going to type in here a different phrase. And I'm going to align this to the right, perhaps. Change this to a different color. And delete this one, because we already have our links over here. And this one, I think it's, it can hardly be seen, so perhaps I could add text effects to it by going to the effects button. And let's see what effects would look good on it. So I'm just going to adjust the roundness, perhaps, as well as the spread. And for the transparency, I guess it's okay. Maybe we can change its color and turn the text to white. Okay, I think that should be it. And I think I'm quite happy with how it looks. So there you have it. We hope you found today's video of help somehow. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more Canva tutorial videos. Thanks so much for watching. We hope to see you in the next video and you guys have a great day.